of cars out on the track. We'll see at what speed they take on this track. Well, it's going to be busy. You know, we saw, you know, normally we see groups. It's been a long time since we've seen all 36 put out of practice at once. So it's going to be a busy racetrack. Yeah, different teams have different ideas. You see right here, three of the Gibbs teams sitting on pit road. They're sitting there waiting it out. Their youngest driver, Ty Gibbs, he is not sitting there waiting with them. <laughs> Looking for experience. I think that's fair. I mean, I, I would definitely be swayed one way with Denny Hamlin, maybe the other way with Ty Gibbs. Denny Martin and Christopher all sitting on pit road. While there are a few cars out on track, and there's Ty Gibbs. Tyler Reddick's the fastest lap turn so far at 30.64 seconds. You know, that, the other thing to consider, there's talking about weather all weekend. So, you know, this race may start with this exact same condition, with no rubber on the racetrack, a fresh racetrack, right after the rain, so this is a great opportunity to gain some experience. It wouldn't shock me if the fastest lap of a run comes, you know, run maybe lap six or seven. Uh, just, you gotta start with such low air pressure. Sometimes it takes you a couple laps. Also, traffic is gonna really determine how fast you're gonna be able to go, as we see right here in the 54 of Ty Gibbs. And while this isn't maybe the best to get a read on the car, having traffic forces a young driver like Ty Gibbs to kind of change his lane like he will in the race to try to work through traffic. Chastain, 30.07, fastest lap up to this point that has been turned. And multiple lines being run by virtually everyone out on the track now. Currently, the only car that has not left pit road is Christopher Bell in the 20. And this is kind of the challenge of this racetrack, right? You see the six of Brad Kozlowski in front of Chastain, and that's forcing Chastain to find a different way through these corners. This is a high, high entry running, really the second groove. A little bit of a diamond, trying to go for the low exit. Josevar goes to the top of the board in that 77. That's on his third lap on the racetrack. Once again, I expect still to pick up probably three or four more laps with opportunity to continue to pick up speed. There's Martin Truex Jr. He's made his way out onto the track. Again, defending race winner from a year ago. Seen a little bit of precipitation on that camera on the top of the car. 21. You see right here the challenge this racetrack presents. Mark Truex on the very bottom of the racetrack. That is the least amount of banking. But if you're going to pass, that's where you have to have a, find a way to make work. Shifting, Steve, another aspect of this racing yeah not only can you downshift to help increase engine rpm it also will change the way the car balance is you know when you downshift if you downshift what type of rpm setting when you get back to the gas all can Caution. not only Caution help the engine rain. but it also help you know the balance of the car and here's the potential weather we talked about so caution out for weather seeing the drops on the camera there and I'm looking through the schedule or the the list of drivers and it's looking like Bell did not complete a lap at speed there's that radar we talked about it being all around but there are just light showers that continue to fall and 